Dan Ullman, Mike Beer, taking a peek at Kentucky Derby contender Caddo River, winner of the Smarty Jones Stakes at Oaklawn Park, and most recently the runner-up in the Arkansas Derby. Let's watch the stretch run of the Arkansas Derby. Caddo River is going to finish ahead of the big favorite, Consort Tour, and he battled with that horse all the way around the track. He eventually gets the better of Consort Tour, but Super Stock at a big price is going to run them both down. It was a game performance to finish second for Caddo River, Mike, but I'm not sure it's the kind of performance that leads to a Derby win, especially in a race with other speed horses. Yeah, it's not. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I'm actually a little surprised that they're going to press on with this horse and go to the Derby with him because it just doesn't you know, seem like the kind of race that this horse is going to be able to be all that successful in, Dan. I mean, there's a lot of other speed for him to deal with. I, you know, I guess I'll give him some credit for running better in the Arkansas Derby than he did in the Rebel. Um, but how much better did he really run in that race? I mean, even there, you could see in the stretch run of that race that we just showed you, he really wasn't doing anything at all in the stretch except trying to survive. I mean, he was just going up and down at the end, um, never looked like he was going to hold on and just got second. I, I don't know, man. He, he's pretty difficult to make a case for right now. Fans of the horse for course angle, however, will note that he aired in his one and only start at Churchill Downs as a two-year-old. But I think you're right. His buyer speed figures for the Arkansas Derby and Rebel only in the 80s, far away from horses like Rock Your World and Essential Quality. And when you look at his big victory, the Smarty Jones, it was just a race where he controlled from start to finish against inferior competition. He still has a lot to prove. Right. I mean, that's actually the story of both of his career wins so far, Dan, are just races where he was able to shake loose early um, in a race where the horses behind him just had no chance to get involved in the race. Um, and that's obviously not going to be the case um, in the Kentucky Derby. I mean, it just feels like he's going to be under pressure right from the start, unless they're just going to try to totally change his running style. I don't see how that would work out either. And that leads to my next question. I'm not sure they're going to change his running style. There are some people that believe he could be the speed of the speed. And while the pace could be fast, we have seen many occasions where other jockeys like to grab and take hold and save something for the end. I guess there is a scenario where Caddo River can get to the front and control things. Even if that's the case, considering his form, could you like him? Uh, no, uh, I, I couldn't like him going into the Derby. I'm not, listen, maybe he is the speed of the speed. I don't see how that's helpful. I'm um, going a mile and a quarter against horses that are just better than he is. Um, you know, certainly being low in speed in a race can be an advantage, but it's not just going to automatically propel him to the winner's circle. Um, you still have to have um, the, the form um, and the ability to wire the, the field that you're running against. I don't think this horse has it. He's won twice at a mile. Now we'll have to go a mile and a quarter. Caddo River, a likely pace factor in the Kentucky Derby for an excellent barn, but he's going to have to improve.